Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we are discussing about priority classes also called CPU priorities in Process Lasso. So priority classes they are available here in Process Lasso to keep the applications running at specific priority. Let's go and for example open the priorities for NVIDIA Broadcast UI. This is a process and I want to right click on this process then go to CPU priorities current and as you can see we have six priority classes real time high above normal normal below normal and idle and these priority classes they are based on windows operating system it's usually a good idea to focus on lowering priorities of background and not so important processes and rather raise the priority of rather important processes the pro balance algorithm that we have discussed about here in process lasso this algorithm also applies this adjustment to the cpu to reduce the heavy background processes dynamically and here from this menu if i change the priority of this process for example to normal and if i was in this current menu then only for the time being this uh, priority class is applied uh, to this process and if the windows is restarted then the priority class effect will be gone but if we want the priority class effect to be always and persistent then we have to come to this always menu and then select one of the options from here then even when the windows is restarted and every time that process lasso is opened then process lasso will set the priority class the cpu priority class for this process persistent and all the time here we also have two other options which are called io priority and memory priority so io priority is also related to cpu priority and memory priority is basically both of them are related to cpu priority IO priority provides a hint to the operating system about the relative importance of IO for a process. However, it does not guarantee the prioritization over other IOs or, or specific quality of service parameters. And as we can see in here, we also have these options in IO priority, critical, higher, normal, low and very low. And we also have the memory priority as well. So memory priority provides a hint to the operating system about the relative importance of memory pages when they are paged out. And in memory priority, we also have these options, normal, below normal, medium, low and very low. So we discussed about how to set the CPU priority for a single process. Let's go and discuss about setting the CPU priority when you want to make and create rules we will come to options cpu cpu priorities and we will come to this window default process priorities from here we can create rules and then if a process matches that rule then the priority class can be selected from here and it will always be applied for example in here i have created a process that says that this process should always have a higher priority. You can create other type of rules as well and we can create rules by using regular expressions that we will discuss about later on in this series. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned.